Okay, in this lecture, we're gonna accomplish three things. We're gonna get you set up with your Google Analytics account. We're going to install that um, tracking code onto a WordPress site. Um, don't worry if you have a different site, uh, and then we might leave some instructions for how to do so, but usually it's a pretty quick search on Google for how to do it for your particular website. And then finally, we're gonna get you access to that demo account. Okay, so just go to your web browser and type in Google Analytics and a link like this should pop up. It should take you to a setup like this where we're gonna to wanna to sign up. Make sure it's with the correct account. Google will probably prompt you for it. Um, for me, I had a, a, a different account that I haven't actually set up Google Analytics for. For us, we're gonna be doing it for a website. We're gonna do it as a test account because I'll probably end up changing the, uh, the tracking code details. Uh, enter some information. Yeah, we can give them access to that, that's fine. We're gonna get our tracking ID. We're gonna accept those terms of service. Accept, accept. It'll actually take us in, if you recall from the previous videos, it'll take us into, uh, we're in our admin uh, part of the uh, Google Analytics account, and then you have to actually I'll show you real quick. You have to actually go into the admin. You have the account, property, and view. And at the property level, tracking info, you want the tracking code. If you do this, copy. Okay, so we have the tracking ID. So if we go over to um, our WordPress account, so this is the WordPress uh, system. If you're not familiar, it's a content management system. So this is the back end for the front end of a, uh, of a website. And they have what are called plugins. So you can do a quick search for Google Analytics and get a list of you know, companies and plugins that'll give you, you know, the ability to integrate your plugin. Um, I have a couple installed uh, just for the purposes of this video. And we're gonna end up using this one right here, the Google Analytics dashboard uh, for WordPress. So if we go down, Click settings for your Linux account, which we've done. Developer mode, no, nope, we just want to authorize it. Okay, so we're gonna get our access code, so it'll take us to the account. Make sure it's the account that um, you want to integrate with. Sometimes you have other accounts, so make sure it's the account that you created the analytics account with. Give it access, I'm gonna copy this code, I'm gonna paste this to the access code, and save that access code. Okay, so we can actually see that there is one user on the site, and that's me. Um, so that confirms in our real-time uh, traffic reports that our uh, tracking code has been successfully uh, integrated. And so we want to do one last thing. So this is, gonna, this is gonna give us access to the demo account, which will give us more data to be able to understand uh, some of the other lectures that we'll be covering. You can see here that you can access it through this uh, support article, and you can also remove it later if you want to. So we just want to access the demo account, and this link the support link I've provided in the lecture. So just go uh, uh, to the lecture uh, resource materials um, and click the link and then be sure to select access demo account um, near the middle part of the, uh, of the support article. And what you'll see here is that we, we now have access to the Google demo account, okay? And so we now have integrated our data uh, on our own website, but we now can play around with Google's demo account so that we have access to more rich data so that we can understand Google Analytics um, a little bit more in depth.